Well, I gotta fix it. Here we go. Oh, toolbox tires. Suspension. up YouTube welcome to the channel and my lovely all aluminum trailer it's not mine it's coming trailer anyway so have you ever had an issue where your uh, airbags on your trailer have not did not inflate well I'm having that situation right now and I have diagnosed the problem already so I know what's wrong I think um, I guess it's a pretty common problem from what I understand but this little chunk of shit right here yep yep you see that see it see it yep it's good stuff it's a piece of shit anyway so I went to the parts store um, and at the TA truck stop right here by where I'm parked and they do not have the parts to repair replace said valve so what I did was I checked and I'll show you my process of elimination um, and then we'll get into building this this thing so right here is a leveling valve yeah, pretty fancy. Okay, so what I did was I checked this. It works. I pulled this line loose and I had no air. Okay, well, there's a valve at the front. So I went and I checked that valve at the front and it's all the way up there behind the landing gear and that dumps the suspension. Well, so trace the lines, trace the lines, trace the lines. And what we got here is the supply line to the air ride and an empty nipple. So I took that apart and there we go. You guys can look at the top of my head. I took that apart and was not getting any air through this valve. Well, if you get no air to this valve, your airbags are not going to inflate. So I went to Napa because the TA did not have what I needed to make it work. And I bought this. It's a simple T. It's got a plug in it. No big deal. It's brass, uh, 3 8 fitting. And then I took this fitting out of this valve. And I'm going to put it in here, like so. And then I'm going to thread it on here. And I'll show you what it's gonna look like. So basically, it's gonna look like that. Just bypasses, it just takes the place of that uh, valve which is a one-way check valve and what that means is if I have a leaky airbag What's going to happen is it's going to leak down the whole trailer Instead of just the suspension which right now that's fine It gets me into the shop where I can get the correct part and replace the part correctly This is what they call a roadside repair for a rather simple problem. So it's technically, it's not a permanent fix. It's just a temporary fix for a permanent problem. And then once I get into the shop, our shop at our home terminal, I will go in and I will say, Mr. Mechanic Man, 
I need a new one-way valve. This is a one-way valve, so basically all it does is it's got an, an in and an out. So it lets the air come out of the tank into the airbag suspension. What's well, the other way around, I think? Anyway, either way, it's it just all it does is it lets the air move one way. So if you get an air loss there, this valve will shut and not drain the air out of the system. So basically, if you blow an airbag and have an immediate loss of air pressure, this valve will trip and then you will have still have air supplied to your brakes. That's basically what this does. And if you blow a valve, you're gonna lock up your trailer brakes. So let's pray we don't blow an airbag. Um, although these airbags are starting to look a little sketchy, but we're gonna make this work because I gotta be ready to go get loaded on Monday. And I have been in Minnesota seven days too long already. So we take our thread sealant. I prefer to use this over Teflon, Teflon tape because there's no question here on it, the direction this goes. And sometimes knowing which direction to go can be kind of confusing. So we put that on and it'll work just fine. So we'll put a little bit on our cap. Just a little dab will do ya, that's all it takes. Okay, cap's ready to go in. Put it in here, just like A. Turn it in. Take your handy dandy little pair of pliers. And you go on ahead and just spin that around. Get it good and snug. The one nice thing about paste is you don't have to make it super tight. It just has to be tight. Make sure you got an even coating all the way around the base of the threads. Super cool. It's done. So now the next amazing feat will be to do this piece. And we just put a little bit of Teflon on there. Get the paste from Permatex. It's good shit. No endorsement, but it's good stuff. And we put it on here. Get a nice little layer of that on there. And it's done. And we take this and we thread it into our, our new check valve delete block, whatever you want to call it. snug that around so it faces the direction I need it to there's that okay and I got it on my fingers Ew. the asphalt parking lot can use some of that it won't hurt nothing okay so now we're gonna take our stuff and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna put a coat of it on Fitting up here. Ah. Okay. Now, our bypass is built. We got our quick connect fitting on there. Let's go on ahead and get up here. And we're going to thread her in. Now, we take this 
this little line right here, this little line of mine, I'm gonna make it shine, make it shine, make it shine, make it shine. Okay, repair is complete. Now, this is your drain valve. So, I opened this valve to drain the air out of the tank, and now I need to close it so that when I start the truck, the air bags shall arise after it builds air pressure. So, we are now officially done here, and I have lost my bag. Nice, okay. I don't know if this is hauled up here. I don't know if that's all about. But anyway. So let's go fire the truck up and see what happens. I haven't seen very many DIY truck repair videos, so I thought I would go on ahead and throw one on my supposed truck channel. So here we go. And now I'm out from under the trailer. Super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, there we are. Okay, we'll be right back. Let's go on ahead and fire this truck up and get the air pressure built up and see what happens. I think you guys will like this. And we'll go on ahead and put you down right here. There you are. See it? My truck is way cooler than this one. <laughs> but it's getting some maintenance done on it. Um, it's got 330,000 miles on the overhaul on my truck. And it's getting uh, an overhead done and some other stuff that I can't do. I don't have the, the ability to do it. So I'm having the shop do it. And, um, yeah, you'll see it. It's coming. Gave the guy back his pliers. 
for uh, allowing me that. So that's, that's a nice guy right there. That's called uh, chivalry. We take care of each other out here on the road. So, you know, instead of being a stingy asshole, you know, he was like, yeah, sure, I got a pair of pliers, man. I'll help you out. See, that's where, that's where it's at right there. That's where that brotherhood of the trucking industry comes from is by you know, helping your brother out or sister now because there's a lot of women out here doing this same job and we got to help our sisters out too you know don't be an ass if you got it loan it if you ain't got it then you ain't got it but do what you can to help that's all it takes you know I don't expect somebody to pull off on the side of the road to help me out because well that's just dangerous I mean really but yeah, it happens sometimes every now and then I, I'll stop and help somebody out but with the cell phone age today and most of these drivers out here on the road they don't work on their own shit anyway so they're just sitting there waiting on a tow truck or a service truck to come help them anyway but jump on the radio and say hey driver you all right but anyway so that's a quick fix for getting your air ride to work it again um, it's super simple. That part cost me $25 with tax, even up here in Minnesota. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And, um, shout out to this Denny's right here next to the TA on I-94. Um, I don't remember what town this is, but you can't miss it. It's the only stainless steel Denny's that I've ever seen in my life for letting me spend the weekend out here in their parking lot so all right y'all thanks for watching uh if you like my attitude go on ahead click that subscribe button down there that really helps me out uh give me a like so youtube knows to uh suggest my video or my videos to other people and we'll see you in the next one